Hey guys, we're down here at the uh, Corona Hotel in Ensenada, uh, getting ready for the SCORE International Baja 500. We've had a great last couple days uh, pre-running, been up over mics a couple times down through San Felipe along the coast, so have a lot of great in-car footage, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Time uh, to go pre-tech, get the truck all done so we can make contingency a little less of a cluster. Uh, we're, it's been moved down to Cerro Beach, so we don't really know uh, much about how it's going to be, but we know there's going to be a lot of people, there's a lot of vehicles, so uh, we just do everything we, we, can, uh, we can to make our trip through contingency a little bit smoother. Drivers meeting, get ready for race day, so uh, winning's all about execution, and uh, we got to start from day one, and uh, so here's our day. Start. Not working right now. I know you can't yell that loud as me. Yeah, you just heard it. <laughs> okay. Fire extinguisher inside. Beep, beep. Uh, right here. Got the triangles, first aid kit, all that blah blah blah. So nice. first aid kit. Looks like we're all done here at uh, with pre-tech. Time to go get some lunch, have some tacos, and uh, start catching up with the crew guys and uh, get our racing logistics down. Done. Uh, our last minute pit team meeting here. Uh, I've got all the uh, strategy down, crew guys, what trucks, where, when, why, and how. So we're going to do something a little different. We're going to give you a behind the scenes look of what it takes to chase the Baja 500. So you'll be riding along with my dad and Matt and uh, a couple other guys. So hopefully they, they capture all the good stuff and uh, what it really takes to make this race happen behind the scenes. So I'll see you guys after the race. I'm heading to the start line now. See you. Matt Lloyd, East Jimco Racing. Uh, we're down here at the 2019 Baja 500. We'll give you a little behind the scenes of uh, chasing Justin Lofton in the 41 trick truck, trophy truck. Um, 
so yeah, come along for the ride. Race mile 80. Uh, race just started about two minutes ago for us, and we're basically visual only here. Uh, they'll come onto the highway section and run down the highway for about two miles, and then our first fuel stop tire change will be about 11 miles down the road from here, where we've already got our crew set up and uh, ready for action. <laughs> Just cleared race mile 80. Um, seems to be no issues, but they did get passed by a couple trucks. So uh, Derek said the truck is good, so maybe they got stuck. We don't know. We're not going to assume. Uh, but all is good. Headed to bit one now. lost so not doing so well for chase one missed the main pit but we did catch him at a corner um, not sure what happened to the main pit but it looked like two trucks got by us so still running should be top 10 on the road uh, now they head up over the summit and we go try to meet him in the desert yeah it's like a hub seal leaking Summit, no issues. Truck's running good. Uh, stuck in the dust of the 77 right now with the clear back door. We're probably down 15 minutes uh, physically to the leader, the 31. So just keep moving along. Long way to go. It's essentially right here around the corner. So go down. We might be able to come out here and come back up to him. 
Yeah. I think if we come down here, we're going to have to go through all the shit. Yeah, so we're, what, is that our access from right 107, yeah. So we need to double back. So what, where does that, it's... Well, that comes basically out, but then the problem is this is all just in really soft, nasty shit. And, but I think if I remember correct, this is kind of dry lake, but it's spread out. You can, we oh, can kind of, look, that is dry lake. We can pick our way back to them. Yeah. So... back okay to make sure we got the Jeep and the trailer coming this way all right in case nobody ever checks their phone and then uh, and then so do we want anybody to come in in the Jeep if they don't hear from do us do we have any signal here we have it here yes because okay. the cell so tower is have, right there and they have signal back there well they're talking through the racing tracks through this device yeah so we probably don't have it on the other side of the hill yeah so I say if when they get here and we haven't come out yet we send the, the Jeep somebody that in way. The Jeep in there. Yep. To come help us. Yeah. So Bo and Bo and Wayne or whoever's yeah, with Yeah, well Jeep. Wayne's with him. Yeah, Wayne's yeah. got his stuff. So we got a bad update on our racing tracks and then kinda got intermittent transmission from uh, Derek, but they said they've blown it up at race mile one ninety seven in the soft sand. So we're headed into the race course right now to see if we can find them for retrieval back to the road. We got our chase truck packing up and down with the trailer and the Jeep to come down and assist us. So, see how it goes. Are you clear of the two mountains? Are you back on this side? Or are you stuck in between the mountains with those soft sand bumps? The mountains. If you look at the map on the race course, where like race mile 180 does a U turn, if you just ran straight across to like BCP 65, if you have that kind of map, we're sitting right there. Okay, so we're about three miles south of BCP, BCP 65. So we're gonna turn right and head up towards you. Black helicopter over us right now. Cruising down the Hey Matt, so if you are pointing north, we're about here two o'clock, two minutes away at race speed. My two o'clock if I'm pointing north. Copy. What's your compassing? <laughs> north? North? There. The update is we're getting closer. We talked to him on the radio, so that's nice. We're just gotta make our way to him. Head through the bushes here, coming up on them. I think you got race course here too, Bob. Yeah. You it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. to say except here we go again on the hook with a hole in the motor we strategically parked that for you you know we just spent about six hours trying to dig this thing out because he stopped in the most worst possible place i mean a little bit of fire scared him. He just locked the brakes up in a sand hill. I don't, I don't get it. But anyways, six hours later, we got a mountain. Now headed back towards La Montana to meet the trailer.
Well, unfortunately, yeah, uh, we had to go recover the truck, but the recovery actually went pretty smooth. It only took us about an hour and 40 to get them in and out. We're about five miles back to the highway where we'll put them on the trailer. So, just another day in the desert, bah. So we're back here at the uh, Corona Hotel. Uh, race didn't go as planned. Uh, it didn't end as planned. We had a good, we had a solid run going. We had a few little issues here and there. Uh, ended up following uh, the truck in front of me into a rain rut uh, early on in the race. But I guess there was a lot going on behind me. So we only got passed by one person. And then uh, uh, we got a new gearbox in the truck. So still kind of learning that. And we pulled over uh, to check a feeling we had but everything was good there so we got passed by two more but uh, once we got rolling uh, truck was good we're excited we we're gonna just kind of play the attrition game get some experience continue getting experience down here and uh, have some fun and, and get ready for the big Baja 1000 but uh, race ended at about race mile 198 ish uh, put another hole in the side of the motor so uh, we tried it one more time and we gotta, we're gonna look at something different for sure for uh, Fury. Uh, Badco's been on a roll, so we're looking forward to bringing Badco to Vegas Torino, uh, which is where the next time we'll see you. But hope you guys enjoyed Matt on all the behind the scenes stuff. We got some cool stuff coming up throughout the summer before Vegas Torino, so uh, stay tuned, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for following.